Dusk is a first-person shooter developed by David Zemansky and published by New Blood Interactive with a release on December 10th, 2018. That sounds familiar. Oh yeah. The plot is a series of Lovecraftian tunnels are discovered in a fictional town of Dusk, Pennsylvania. If I lived in a town that had these tunnels, I'd probably leave and never return. Of course, this does draw the attention of the government. Well, duh. Why else would the government pay attention to a town that has cosmic horror tunnels? To make a long story short, a team was assembled to harness the magic of the room. Unfortunately, most of the team fell victim to the magic and a woman looked to be possessed in anyone else out. I can't exactly say I feel sorry, but you get what you deserve. You play as the treasure hunter who enters dusk in hopes of getting rich, but you get caught and are sentenced to death. I've got nothing. The game is divided into three episodes and each focuses on a section of dusk. Episode 1 focuses on the countryside, Episode 2 focuses on the industrial zone, and Episode 3 takes place in an alternate reality. Gameplay takes a cue from old school DOS games like Quake and Doom. Get from point A to point B, find the exit, and move on. Meaning the game's fast paced and the player can carry a lot of weapons. They range from the starting hooks to the pistols, shotguns, machine guns, to the crossbow, to name a few. And you know what their biggest weakness is? Believe it or not, it's soap. Yeah. Apparently, cleanliness kills. Of course, no old school shooter would feel complete without secrets. Of course, I've got to ask, is this game an example of being a breath of fresh air? For the most part, yes. It feels nice to go back to old school considering the old shooters do the same thing over and over again. It's also nice to see the load up screen bear a resemblance to DOS startup. I have to admit, that was a smart move on the developer's part. The enemies and level design complement each other quite nicely and adds to the atmosphere of the game. The soundtrack is also awesome and just adds more atmosphere to the game. Despite all the good, is there anything bad about this game? To be honest, multiplayer shouldn't have been included. I'll go over playing DOS games online in another video. Other than that, I can't see anything else wrong. It does turn into a bit of a 5 out of 5.